So you're a fan of the Lord of the Rings or a Game of Thrones or any number of movies or television shows that's had a fantasy theme lately. And you ask yourself, man, I'd really like to get into one of these types of stories, but I don't know where to start. Well, I'm going to try to set you in the right direction and go old school with Mr. R.A. Salvatore and his series of books. Now, um, back in the early 80s, TSR, who was in charge of the Dungeons & Dragons game, uh, decided to come up with a new campaign setting. And they called upon uh, Ed Greenwood to come in and help pin this setting. The setting ended up being the Forgotten Realms. And uh, I really don't think that anyone has contributed more to the Forgotten Realms storyline than Robert Salvatore. Um, but you go to uh, Barnes & Noble's or whatever bookstore or get online and Google the man's name and there's 50 plus novels to choose from and you really don't know where to start. Well, I want to make this video to uh, basically put the novels in order that you need to read them or that you should read them. Uh, if you're interested in delving down the rabbit hole of Mr. Salvatore's works. Um, he is probably, if not, my favorite author as far as the fantasy genre goes, as of late. Uh, so, to try to speed this up, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go a little fast. Uh, in the description below, I will put, uh, I will go ahead and put the names of the books in order that you should read them, but right now I'm just going to talk about some of the books. Um, I am looking at my laptop because I can't recall all the titles, but I can give you little tidbits of information as we go along. So originally the first, the first book is a trilogy and you can pick them up in individual books or you can I suggest picking up the paper or the the condensed novels uh, is the Icewind Dale trilogy um, this is this is the kickoff this is the starter book that sets uh, sets our band of adventurers for the dozens of novels that will follow uh, you've got Wolfgar the human barbarian uh, Brunor Battlehammer uh, Dwarf King You've got uh, Katie Bree, barmaid slash uh, warrior wizard, uh, Regis, who is a halfling rogue, and uh, the most prominent character of the books, Dritz Duarden, who is a drow elf, which is a dark elf uh, ranger. Now, um, originally, when uh, Mr. Salvatore began writing the Icewind Dale trilogy, um, Wolfgar was to be the central character, but as he wrote, um, the Driss character seemed to overpower, overshadow the other characters to the point where, okay, I'm writing the, these stories and I haven't given a history for this elf. Well, the first three books of the Icewind Dale trilogy, The Crystal Shard, Streams of Silver, and The Halfling's Gem, are followed up by another trilogy called the Dark Elf Trilogy. Uh, the Dark Elf Trilogy basically gives the origin of where Dritz came from. Now, um, although Icewind Dale Trilogy was the first series of books, the Dark Elf Trilogy takes place beforehand uh, so that you get the origin story, but they don't necessarily have to be read in that order. I, prefer, I preferred reading the Icewind Dale Trilogy first, then go into the Dark Elf trilogy to get a little more in-depth, more personal about Dritz and where he came from and what he went through. Uh, the Dark Elf books are called Homeland, Exile, and Sojourn. Okay, next, the next set of books is the Cleric Quintet. Uh, these are five books that feature a human cleric named Catterley. Although not directly related to the Dritz books, they take place during the same time period in a different part of the realm 
And eventually, Dritz and the gang and Catterley's paths do cross numerous occasions through the storylines as we go along. So it's a good idea to read The Cleric Quintet. It's a lengthy read, but it's well worth it. It's a really good story. Five books. Canticle, In Sylvan Shadows, Night Masks, The Fallen Fortress, and The Chaos Curse. Now, during those books, the next set of books, entitled Legacy of the Drow, which is four books, is taking place coinciding with Cleric Quintet. These books are called The Legacy, Starless Night, Siege of Darkness, and Passage to Dawn. Um, following up on that are, is the Paths of Darkness trilogy. Uh, these, this trilogy is the one that really drew me in to not so much Dritz and the gang, but some of the secondary characters show up and kind of the books aren't about the original party anymore. They're about one of my favorite characters, Artemis and Trary. Now, when you're first reading about Artemis in the Icewind Dale trilogy, you won't like him. He's a villain. He's evil, and he's foul, and he does things that you won't like. But, with as with the Paths of Darkness and the second set of books that comes out after that, the Cell Swords, um, he's kind of an anti-hero. Uh, Paths of Darkness, you've got the Silent Blade, the Spine of the World, and Sea of Swords. Following that is the Cell Swords trilogy of Servant of the Shard, Promise of the Witch King, and Road of the Patriarch. Road of the Patriarch is probably one of my favorite Salvatore novels because it's, it's a novel about closure, it's a novel about redemption, and without giving too many spoilers, that's really all I can say, but really good series of books. Uh, this is kind of the peak, the pinnacle for the Artemis storyline that will be picked up by a the Jarl Axel storyline, which is a, another drow elf that uh, we'll talk about later. Next is the Hunter's Blade trilogy. Uh, it features three books, The Thousand Orcs, The Lone Drow, and The Two Swords. Um, it's a good trilogy. Uh, I don't suggest skipping over any of these books, but um, this one kind of takes off to where you're expect you're kind of expected to read every book from this point out in order for the storyline to make sense because as the writing begins to flow for Ari Salvatore the books don't have an ending and they don't have a beginning each of the books goes straight into the next book even though they're bro even though some of them are broken up as trilogies or more the storyline never stops. It's a continuous story, uh, kind of like the Robert Jordan Wheel of Time books. Um, once you get past the Hunter's Blade, you go into War of the Spider Queen. Now, there are six books in War of the Spider Queen, but Salvatore didn't write the books. He assigned a book to, he's assigned each book to a different author, and he oversaw the project using characters that he had created and so on so forth. Uh, you've got Dissolution, written by Richard Lee Byers. You've got Insurrection by Thomas M. Reed. Condemnation by Richard Baker. Uh, Extinction by Lisa Smedman. Uh, Annihilation by Philip Athens. And Resurrection by Paul S. Kemp. Great read. Takes place back in Dritz's home world of Men's of Branson. Uh, it's it's a battle of the Dark Elves. Uh, Loth, the Demon Queen of Spiders, no longer speaks to uh, her servants anymore and have basically left the drow to fend for themselves against one another. Next is Transitions. Uh, again, not to take anything away from Mr. Salvatore, but uh, Transitions is probably my least favorite of the books. Uh, it's three books, The Orc King, The Pirate King, and The Ghost King. They're all good, but, again, my least favorites. Uh, next is Stone of Tamora. Again, these books don't necessarily revolve around Dritz and the gang. It's another set of characters. And these three books were written with uh, Salvatore's son, Gino. The books are Stowaway, The Shadow Mask, and The Sentinels. 
Next is Neverwinter. Uh, the popular Neverwinter video game was out at the time. Uh, they centered these books around certain locales in the Forgotten Realms. There's four books. Gauntlegrim, Neverwinter, Charon's Claw, and The Last Threshold. Really good books. Uh, next was one book in the Sundering series entitled The Companions. Uh, the Sundering was an event that took place in the Dungeons and Dragons world that transferred over into the books to help with the changing from 3.5 edition to 4.0 edition. Uh, of the Sundering novels, Salvatore only wrote The Companions. Uh, next is The Companions Codex. Again, you've got a new batch of characters, uh, but still you've got Dritz Duarden. Uh, it's Consider this a resurrection story. Again, no spoilers, but uh, you've got Night of the Hunter, Rise of the King, and Vengeance of the Iron Dwarf. Really good books. Uh, at first, I didn't think I would like them because the way the storyline started, it's you've been thrown ahead like maybe a hundred years into the future. Human characters that you knew and loved are no longer with us because it's a hundred years later, and uh, which kind of put a damper on my favorite character of the series, which is Wolfgar the Barbarian. Uh, next is the Homecoming series. Um, it's three books, The Archmage, Maestro, and Hero. Well, currently, I am in the middle of reading Maestro. So, uh, Hero came out in 2016. I didn't feel the need to pick it up yet because I'm still on, on Archmage. I, did I say Arch Maestro? I have Archmage and I have Maestro. I haven't felt the need to pick up, uh, Hero yet because I haven't made it halfway through this one. And, uh, in 2018, uh, not released yet, but is currently on pre-order, uh, is the book Timeless. Uh, the trilogy is, they're calling it the No Name Trilogy, I'm assuming because they haven't decided what to call it yet, but Timeless will be the first book that kicks that off. Now, those are the Forgotten Realms books. There's other books that I won't talk about because this video is going to be too long, but uh, he did a whole other set, not in the Forgotten Realms, called The Demon Wars and uh again we won't talk about that but uh i tried to go through that pretty quick those are everything in order i will again in the description below list the books in order should you decide to read them so that you'll know what order to read them in uh if you've read some of these books and like to share your thoughts or opinions please comment below i'd love to hear from anyone that has uh do you have favorite characters least favorite characters um, if I get enough feedback on this, maybe I'll break down individual books in the future, talk about certain things I liked or disliked about individual books. Uh, just let me know. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.